So at this point, use this hand and make sure you pull it out a little bit. Now once you're about here, once the car has just passed that flap, I'll fold everything out and under and pinch. And at this point, I'll rotate over so they can see it and it hides all of the gimmick. And then you can hand it on out. And at that point, just put this away. This is just your tissue packet. That goes back in your pocket and you're ready to roll again. That's Cardex, as I call it. <laughs> now, something really cheeky. In fact, Jacob would use you again, bud. You could just, it, this is a sort of throwaway, and I get Colin McLeod to thank you for, for this. So Colin, cheers, big guy. <clears throat> I initially showed him the gimmick, and he, he'd done the Colin thing, and went, oh, that's cute. It's not what you want to hear. I'm like, oh, you, mm. <laughs> cute stuff. I want to hear, that's awesome. And went, but do you know you can do this with it? And again, I want to strangle him since then. What Colin does, and again, Colin, thank you for letting me teach this, bud. Is he will draw an X down here on a card. I just draw a big line and I'll say to the person, just write a word on there for me. Try and make it nice and bold so if you had to show anyone else that they could they could make out what it was. Yeah, it's difficult to do on this. Yeah, and don't worry about it, that's cool. It's just for the explanation, it's fine. Alright. You screw it back in. You put your pen away. Now, I usually say, now what I'll do is I'll, this is obviously something you can't see and it's face down. So if you have done this and you've your back should be turned when they're writing this and say, can you turn that face down for me? Now when you come back, you say you're going to hide this away somewhere. But you want to make sure you're putting it in the right way for you to do what you have to do. So I'll say, so you've wrote on there nice and big so people can read it, yeah? You can read that just fine? Yep. If, well. if they say no, it's upside down. <clears throat> if they say no, got us upside down, sorry, is that the right way up? And just ask them. What's the point of not asking? You can't see it anyway. So at that point, I'll say, if I can hold that that way for me. Perfect. Now, I usually put it in a wallet, but I don't have my wallet with me today. So we're just going to, um, here, we'll drop it inside here. And all you're going to do is take it and slide it inside. Now, as you're putting it in, you've got a big gap here, just feeding it into that gap. And you close everything up. You see, so if I have that inside there, there's no way I can know what that is. And from the back, I'm just looking right at that word. That's really cool. So it's your really peak, cheap. yeah, cheap wallet peak wallet. wallet, you just put it down. And at that point, you do your whole peak. Now you draw an elephant or whatever you want to do for that person. And then at the end, you can be very clean on the table. That's actually why I, you said Colin McLeod, that's why I said elephant. Yeah, open it, I noticed. <laughs> Shout out going, then you just pull it out and show. And again, it's a really peak, uh, really peak, really cheap um, card to wallet or tissue packet and a really cheap peak if you want it. Again, if you guys want any more details on this, thank you, but you can sit down again, thank you. Just leaving you stand there like, when you're gonna shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that I've got a few people that are warming to my sense of humor, I was panicking about that. I have a very Scottish sense of humor, which is very, very arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> I admit it. I'm not a really arrogant person, I'm usually kind of quiet, but when I get on the performance wagon, I'm, yeah, just, again, hit me. But yeah, it's just a very, very cheap car to, to say, wallet and all that kind of stuff. And it's one of those little things that I will just carry around with me because no one really questions it. It's very, very odd. Um, but as I was saying before, it is just a rectangle stuck on. If you want any more detail on this, um, this is on the Little Things Volume 1, which again, you can buy at penguinmagic.com. I'm going to go for the shameless plugs all the time here, man. I'll put that away at this point, and I'll ditch this. Any questions on that bad boy as I go switch all this stuff out? Just no one loving me, or am I being a tooth thorough with what I'm doing? How do you spell that app name again? <laughs> Dude, <I'm> just... <laughs> <laughs> Did someone really ask that? We're, no, we're good, we're good. Oh, I was, I was ready to go nuts on someone there. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to do one of my favourites now. Awesome. In fact, again, this one has been a while. I'm going to use your, your funky American money. God damn you. Right, Four this came from the bar hour. scene, basically. Right, this is a fun one to use a shot glass and a coin. Now, in our case, it's a, one of your little quarters for us. In the UK, it's about the size of a 10p. It's handy for us. But what we're going to do... So if we take the coin, straight up your hand, grab the shot glass and just tap. In fact, can you see that? It almost looks like it goes right in there, yeah? Crazy. It's crazy. Feel free to clap. I'm joking. I'm jo he was ready to go for it as well. Right, what we can do, if we dump it out, I'll leave a little window for you and be really clean here. Jumps right up and in. Now the crazy thing here is, a lot of people think it's the, the, the shot glass. They think it's not, it's the coin. In fact, come here. All you have to do is just take it and just rub, and it'll go. In fact, it's right back under the glass. Hmm. And that is Three Shot Slammer. <laughs> now, this is really quick. 
I get that. Um, it's just one of those little quick things. If you didn't know, you should use an extra coin. I've been trying to find a way to do this signed for ages, but without doing any odd false transfers midway during the routine, which just don't flow right, it doesn't look good. So I just do it unsigned. The one thing you will need to look out for is a sort of glass with a thicker bottom. Now, I actually picked this one up in America, so you guys should be able to find it easy. But the good thing about this is quarters will fit in that little bottom reservoir, all right, which comes in handy later on. But the basis to the routine is you're going to palm a coin. Now, look at my hand palming. With these little hands, it never looks good. It's just, unfortunately, some of the, one of the things I have never made look natural, all right? But the one thing I've noticed, it looks fine when you're holding a glass like that. I don't know why. It's just, if you were holding a glass like that, that's the way it would be. So thankfully, all you're doing is just putting in a standard palm and holding the glass just like this. Now, the coin, um, one other thing to draw attention to is it's just small enough to be hidden by the glass. And the nice thing is, with refraction, you can't see there's anything under there. Crazy, isn't it? God bless. And that's basically what you're playing with. You just have it on your palm, and you just drop it down on top as you let that coin fall out. And I'll let it rest there for a minute so they hear it go in. And at that point, I'll sh just grab everything up and around before I move in forward, and I'll start shaking it. And I'll say, now it looks as if it's in there, doesn't it? Now, of course, they can see because it is. You can't pull it out and then just drop it back in to prove the point if you want. Now, here's where the cheekiness comes in. I'm going to rest this glass on top of this coin in my hand, just at the very edge, right there, all right, as I ditch that one out. So when I start a full motion, that coin goes in. Now, don't worry about any noises of it contacting because there's still a coin in there. You should hear noises. So come up and drop that one out, and you're just in that position. Now, I will draw attention to the little window that they can see. Just make sure there's no one behind you, or you're going to get a nice big flash. And you're just going to tap here. Now, when you're doing this, you're just going to straighten your few fingers at the front out, and that will let that drop in. Right? So you're here at that point. Come up and let it drop in. If it sticks slightly, don't panic. I mean, it's stuck slightly for me in the performance. It's not a biggie, because in the full motion, everything should look all right. And you get the select few people that think you're throwing up and around the back. I love that, because this hand just drops down to the side <clears throat> and holds onto that coin. Now, at that point, again, I'll let them see that it's in there. Now, here, you've got two choices. You can just do the last phase where it's on the table. But with these glasses, I have found, once you're shown that it's in there, if you come up, and just place the shot glass directly on top. You can show that it's in, dunk it out that way and just put that down and come up. And the coin is now on top of the glass. Now the crazy thing is this just holds because it's got a little reservoir there. So if you want, you can come up and just do the standard stuff with that, make it vanish. And see it's on top of the glass. And then you're just going to take this from a palm as you dunk that out and you're just going to cup some balls look basically, for lack of a better term, and then do the final version and it's gone. With the final one, you can do the whole, in fact, let me grab a lighter, you melt and it's gone and it's in there. Um, but in the performance I just done, I, after the, the final dump out, I just went straight. Um, so from here, I should be here, there we go. I tap in, show that it's in there. Then at this point, I just came up, dumped out, and that just falls on the table. And you'll notice I keep the back edge of my hand here, and let it drop. Now, if you're going to do this in a sort of pub or club, Make sure it's a pool table you do it on, or it has like a cloth, because otherwise you're going to hear that drop down. So drop that down and place it on top as you bring attention up here. So as attention comes up, in fact, if the camera can follow this, just as a sort of eye frame, you drop it out and the camera comes up, follows that. All attention is up here. This is your focal point, and no one looks down or notices that anything's there yet. And you can do any vanish you want up here. Make it go, and obviously it appears back inside. It's a very simple routine, um, but if you're in a bar setting that has shot glasses, it's a very sort of impromptu one to get into, and it's a nice little three-phase thing with a kicker at the end with the 